how to add in-text citations and generate a bibliography using the Zotero for Microsoft Word plugin. Demoed on Microsoft Word 2017 version 15.32 on a MacBook Air OS Sierra version 10.12.5. Once you've got your references inserted into the Zotero Citation Manager, and I just use the Firefox plugin to do that online. Um, so you've got your citations in, and now I have my Word document open. Um, I've also downloaded the Word plugin for Zotero. Um, and you can be sure it's working because if you click in the Add-ins tab on Microsoft Word, you'll have these little Zotero icons um, that you'll be able to see. Um, if your interface looks different, um, it might be because I'm running the most recent version of Microsoft Word 2017 and I'm using a MacBook Air running Sierra 10.15, I think. Let me check that. Um, yes, Mac OS Sierra 10.12.5 actually. Um, so it's a little bit annoying because with the icons you have to hover your mouse cursor over it to know actually what they do. Um, so just to know that, um, so you've got your Word document open and let's say that in this first paragraph, um, I want to insert a citation. Um, so I go ahead and click my cursor where I want the citation to be inserted. It could be anywhere. It could even be like in the middle of the paragraph if you want. In this case, I just want it to be at the end of the paragraph. So I click my cursor in, I go up to the icon that says Zotero insert citation and I click that. And, um, oh yeah, also in order to be sure this is working, you do have to have Firefox open and running in the background um, because I don't have the standalone version of Zotero installed. So this is dependent on having Firefox open and running in the background so it could communicate with Firefox and pull the citations from the Zotero manager that's saved in Firefox. So when I click insert citation, this toolbar comes up um, and I can just start typing either the name of the article, like any words in the title, or in this case, I happen to know the author. So I'm going to start typing in uh, Mishra because I'm looking for Mishra and Kohler, 2006. Um, you can see that in my library, I have several Mishra references. So I'm just going to arrow down until I find the one that I want. Um, so I've got it highlighted. I'm going to hit enter. And um, you can see that it pops up in the Zotero toolbar. If, for instance, I wanted to add another citation, I could do that. Um, example, let's see, I just start typing another author's name. Um, in this case, Eddie Byrne. I could go, and now you can see that you know Eddie Byrne has another one listed, a couple, four, four references listed. So again, I can go and choose whichever one I want, um, hit enter to select it, and it pops up right there. Now let's say, oops, I changed my mind. I actually don't want that. I only want Misha and Cola. Um, I can just click it and um, delete that as well. So let's see right there, delete. Um, okay, so I've got the citations I want in the Zotero toolbar. I hit enter and it is going to pop right in where my cursor was. Um, I know that it's an active field because when I click it, um, it highlights it in gray. And you can see now throughout my paper, I have other references that I've already inserted. Okay. So um, let's say now I want to generate my bibliography again. Um, let's say maybe, oh, actually here in this citation, I want to edit it. So I can actually click my cursor into a citation that I've already inserted. I go up here and I click um, Zotero edit citation. And that brings me back up to my Zotero toolbar where I can continue adding or deleting um, references that I want to cite in text. Um, in this case, you know, I don't actually want to do it, um, so I'm just going to skip, get out of the toolbar. And I'm going to put my cursor where I want to insert my bibliography. So in this case, I've just gone to the end of my document, I click my cursor there, um, and now comes the super fun part. I'm going to go up here to where my Zotero icons are. I'm looking for the one that says Zotero, insert bibliography. I click that, give it a second, and you can see that it auto-generates a formatted APA style list because uh, in the beginning I actually set my Zotero preferences to APA 6 edition. So it automatically generates a references list from all the citations that were here in the text. Um, now that I've got my references list generated, um, 
I can go in and do a quick check of the citations. If there's any weird formatting ed um, errors, I can actually edit these right in um, the generated list. Um, the best way to get this list formatted as close as possible with least editing needed is if um, when you pull your citations into your Zotero manager, um, if you just make sure they're in imported there, um, formatted the way you want it to appear in this list, then when it auto generates, it just pulls from that Zotero manager and it formats it perfectly. So um, by formatting, I mean like making sure it's like a sentence case and not title case um, for the journal title, for example. Um, once I've got my document pretty well done, um, if I want to be able to further edit it without affecting the auto-generated in-text citations or the references list, I can actually go up here and say um, Zotero remove codes, and that will actually remove the auto-generated codes um, that's underlying the document, and that way, whatever changes you make, it's not going to affect what's been auto-generated. Um, so, as you can see, um, pretty quick way to generate a pretty closely formatted bibliography list um, without the headache of doing every one manually. That's it.